Hello, this is Robin Rishani again. Now, as promised to my parent group, I said I would do a tutorial on putting restrictions on an iPhone or an iPad. I've done an article earlier on, on choosing a mobile phone for your child. I always say any form of tablet or mobile phone is an adult piece of technology. So if you've decided that you do want to give your child or your teen a device, then you need to understand how it works and you need to understand that there are some restrictions that need to be applied because you don't want them accessing porn, you don't want them talking to 40 year olds, you don't want them talking to pedophiles or, or whatever. There's a whole world of people out there like what we've discussed before. So I'm going to talk to you about putting parental controls on an iDevice. This is an iPad. The settings are exactly the same for an iPhone. This is an iPad 3. I'm using an iPad because it's bigger, it's easier to see. So the first thing I want you to do is press on settings down the bottom there. You might have settings anywhere on your screen. I have, happen to have mine down the bottom. Now on your left, you've got all your different menu op options. When you click on a menu option, so for example, on the left, we've got a panel and it's called settings. I'll tap on privacy and then all the different privacy menus come up on the right. The two options that we're going to have a look at today is privacy and general. Let's have a look at privacy first. If you're going to give your child a device, an iPhone, an iPad, then you need to make sure that location services up here is off. If it's on, it'll show us a little green there. We're gonna turn that off. What that means is that applications and Facebook and Google and map services can tag the exact location, the geolocation of that device. And wherever that device is, is usually where your child is. There's absolutely no reason for any of these applications to know where your child is. If your child may argue, yeah, but my friends want to know where I am. If that's the case, they can private, privately text them. There's no reason for anybody under the age of 16 to have location services on their phone. Now, even as an adult, I don't have location services activated. I don't want people knowing where I am. It's none of their business. If I want them to know where I am, then I'll let them know personally. But you don't want random applications. You don't want to post something on Facebook or Kick Messenger or something like that and then the geotagging in the background can pinpoint the exact location. So that's crucial, turn that one off. The next thing we're going to have a look at is the general settings up here. So when we click general, look down the bottom and you will see restrictions. Tap on that. And then up the top in blue, it says enable restrictions. It's then going to prompt you to put a pin in. Choose a four digit pin number that there's no way your kid's going to guess it. So don't use a date of birth. I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, just for ease of use, obviously. It will ask you then to put it in again. Now, I want you to go through every single one of these settings all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go through them with you now. But this is where you can control what your child does on their iPad or their iPhone and what they don't do and what they can access. It's so important. If you're going to give your child an adult piece of technology, Rather than worrying about all these applications that are all over the media, oh, Kik, our kids are using Kick Messenger, what do we do? Well, how about we deal with the problem rather than the symptom? The problem is the iPhone or the iPad, not the applications. You can control the applications that they use on the device that you give them. So the first thing you've got is you can allow or disallow any of these top sections here. So Safari is a web browser. Do you want them accessing the camera? Well, in this instance, I don't. It says if you turn the camera off, then you'll disable FaceTime. So that's something you can decide. FaceTime is where they can talk to their friends. But I would prefer to use Skype. Okay, iTunes Store installing apps. This is a big one. If you're going to give your child one of these devices, do not allow them to install their own apps. So you turn that off. If they want to use an app, they have to come up and ask you. 
and then you can check out the app yourself and decide whether you want them having access to that. One prime example, like I said in the media, is Kick Messenger. So if you don't allow them to install Kick Messenger in the first place, then it's not a problem. You've got deleting apps. Do you allow them to delete apps? That's up to you. You may have an app there that tracks the phone or, or something like that. In-app purchases, for anyone under the age of 16, I would turn that off. Because for starters, they probably don't have a credit card, so who's going to pay for it? And it's very tempting and can get quite addictive to want to purchase things, items, in, in applications like games, for example. Okay, the next section down here is allowed content. Ratings for is defaulted, defaulted to the United States. You can choose Australia. I don't think this is the best filter, but I would leave it at United States. Music and podcasts, we'll click on that. It says explicit, I would turn that off. Movies, you can choose which rated movies. So I only, for a 12 year old, I only want G and PG. And that's all that they'll be able to access. TV shows, well, I don't know Oh, I don't know what TVY and TVY7 is, but I will just say, in this in instance, I'm not gonna allow any TV shows. Okay, apps. This is where we're talking about ratings and we'll have a look at app ratings and where you can find that out. But 17 plus, something like Kick Messenger is rated 17 plus. It means it's designed for adults. So your child shouldn't be accessing that. But if we've got a 12 year old, then I'll click tick, sorry, tap on four plus, nine plus, and that's it. But remember, if we go back up to the top, installing apps, it only allows me to do it anyway because I'm not allowing them to install the apps. Okay, we'll just keep going through. Siri, do you want your child to be able to chat to Siri using explicit language? It's totally up to you. Do you want Siri? to allow, to be activated to search for web content, it's up to you whether you want to or not. Okay, the other important one here is websites. Limit adult content, and you can select particular websites that you want them to have access or you don't. If, you, if there's a specific website that you know of that you don't want them accessing, then you tap on add a website and you can actually put the website address in. Specific websites only. You can choose any of these ones, or you can actually choose the websites that you actually want them to access, or you want you allow them to access. Put the title in, so Facebook, and then type the URL or the address in. Okay. Now, down the bottom, we already had a look a little bit at privacy. So location services, I have that off. It would be green if it was on. So I turn that off. Now all these privacy settings, I tap don't allow changes. It means your child cannot change anything. Oh, this is a good example. I'll just tick back. Contacts, if I tap on contacts, it says Kick Messenger has requested access to my um, address book. And I've got, I said no to Kick Messenger, you can't access my address book. It'd be green if it was on. So I turn it off and then don't allow changes. That means if for some random horrific reason you let your child use Kick, um, they won't be able to do any changes. But we all know that you wouldn't let your child use Kick Messenger anyway. Now, Twitter, don't allow changes, and Facebook. These are there by default. Now the thing with Facebook is if you don't allow apps to be downloaded, remember we went back up here, install apps and it's off, then they won't be able to install Facebook unless you let them as well, even though it's there by default on the device anyway. The other thing down the bottom is Game Center. Do you want them to play MMOs, multi, multi massively multiplayer online games, and do you want them to add random friends? So for a child, I'd say no. And multiplayer games, things like Minecraft, a lot of apps where they can play with other people. The thing is, 
when they are not fundamentally developed yet, so they haven't developed their moral fiber, if you like, they don't necessarily know who they should and shouldn't trust. And people like pedophiles are very good at pretending to be somebody else. So you may get a 48 year old man pretending to be a 15 year old girl. So it's totally up to you. I would say no, I'd turn adding friends in multiplayer games off. Totally up to you though, like I said. Now, and then when we're finished, we just go back and we're done. So if your child wants to change something, so I'll go into settings and they'll think, well, stuff you. I'm going to turn the restrictions off and they click restrictions. They need to put a pin number in. As long as they don't know that pin number, they can't change anything that you did. Now, the only way they can change it is by doing a factory reset. If they do a factory reset, this disappears and the restrictions will be off. So it's up to you as a parent, if you're providing one of these devices to your child, you need to set boundaries and rules. And one of those rules is, I'm saying what you can and can't do on this device. If you factory reset it, then I'll be taking it away from you. So, and it's up to you to keep an eye on this and keep monitoring this. I'm just gonna cancel. One thing you'll notice too, because remember up here, we uh, remember we said that we're not allowing apps to be installed. Now you can actually see my app store's gone. They can't even tap on the app store, it's, it's disappeared. So I'm just going to go through that again. So general, restrictions, we put our password in, pin number, and bang, there we go. So if you have any questions, let me know. Remember, you're the adult. If you are giving an adult device to a child, it is your responsibility to make sure you know what you're doing, to make sure you understand. Very, very quickly, I'm going to go, if you do decide you want to install an app, so your child comes up and says, oh, mum, I really want to install Kick Messenger. All my friends have got it. It's really safe. Like, it's just the best app ever. And you're, you're thinking, well, I've never heard of Kick Messenger, so I'm going to have a look. You go into restrictions, you type in your password, which means only you can get in there. For the time being, I'm going to turn installing apps on and I'm going back to the home page. You've got to remember though, if you do this and you install an app, you've got to go back into the settings and make sure you turn installing apps back off. Now you can see the app store's turned up. Tap on app store. Go up into the search up here and put in Kick Messenger. You're thinking, oh, it doesn't sound too bad. Now because I'm on an iPad and this is essentially an iPhone app, it still um, works on iPad, but it won't show up in the store. And you go, oh, there's Kick Messenger. So I'm gonna tap on Kick Messenger. Wow, it's got a lot of good reviews. It must be okay. Ah, but the information says rating, rated 17 plus, because it's got frequent, intense, mature, suggestive scenes. And oh my God, it sure has. So in that instance, I would download it on my own device as an adult and I would investigate it. Have a look at it so you understand. Obviously, you're still going to say no because it's rated 17 plus. And you'll say, look love, in this case, this is why it's A, B and C and this is why it's not good. It's rated 17 plus for a, for a reason. Are there some other applications that we can perhaps have a look at that are suitable for a 12 year old? So. You've had that discussion, we go back, go to restrictions, one, two, three, four. Go back to um, installing apps, turn it back off, and get out of there. And we're done. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.